In today's rapidly advancing world of artificial intelligence, regulation has become a key topic of debate, both inside and out of technological communities. But is regulation within AI necessary? And if so, how much and who will decide? I do think technology needs to be regulated. It's naive to think otherwise. But I think we have to be extremely careful in how we do it. And at what cost of potential benefits are we willing to give up? Approaching it through a lens of sort of techno panic and preemptive precautionary regulation will ultimately derail many of the most important and life saving type of applications of this technology. Join us as we sit down with two AI experts to hear their take on future regulation within the world of artificial intelligence. Is AI regulation necessary? I think that all technology has to be regulated to some extent. At the same time, I think we have to be very careful because regulation is a slow, blunt instrument subject to distortion, political interference, and so on. And technology of all sorts moves very quickly. It's obvious that there's many people who are panicking about the potential for this technology to do great harm. But that's a mistake because we first need to think about the potential for this technology to do great good and how regulation could ultimately derail a lot of those life enriching and even life saving benefits associated with AI technology. On the other hand, if we roll out this technology without the appropriate regulations, we have a potential safety disaster on our hands. It's balanced. There are advantages and disadvantages. And the solution is to regulate the applications of AI, not the AI field of itself, but particular applications of AI, be it in self driving cars or in medical systems, etc. While some believe it's important to begin by looking at regulation within applications, Others believe it's more important to take into context the risk analysis of each scenario. When we think specifically about how we should regulate AI, we have to think about each context in particular. We can think about, for example, we're trying to regulate things like driverless cars that ultimately could save many, many lives. Every single day in the United States, 100 people die and 6,500 people are injured on average. 94% of those accidents are attributable to human error. One has to believe that AI systems or autonomous driverless cars could take a lot of those risks out of the hands of human drivers and put it into a robotic or algorithmic system that would ultimately do a better job of propelling a couple of tons of glass and steel down the road at speed. Although differing opinions on regulation are plentiful, most can agree that one of the most difficult facets to any discussion on regulation within AI is that it's hard to come to an actual definition of what AI distinctly is. The boundary of what AI is versus software in general or computer science in general is very murky. There's still a great deal of dispute about what we even mean by artificial intelligence, what types of systems should be regulated. Is speech recognition AI? Is building a recommendation system AI? Is a search engine like Google uh, AI? And so it's very hard to decide where you draw the line. In regards to drawing those faded lines within AI, one should ask, who makes that decision and how is it decided? The real question is really going to be, are we going to have an overarching sort of technocratic regulatory regime for all AI? The problem with that is that it's dangerous to regulate technology at the general purpose level. I don't think we need a new regulatory body, a new AI oversight agency. Um, I think that would actually be uh, a mistake. We don't have, for example, general purpose sort of regulation of computers or electronics. Instead, we have narrower types of regulatory regimes and laws that govern specific types of applications of computing or electronics. It's very important that we judge AI systems based on our values as a society. We, as a society, have to come together and decide what our values are, what we think is an ethical AI system, and what isn't. Although some segments within AI have the majority support on regulation, such as autonomous weapons, other areas, such as bias within AI, present a more differing of opinions on level of importance and potential to curb growth within the industry. If our past is racist or sexist or other uh, inappropriate things, 
then the machine will learn those patterns of behavior and we'll carry them into the future, which is clearly something we don't want. The reality is, is we're always going to find some sort of problems in our algorithmic systems, but that should be the reason that we try to do better, newer types of algorithmic and AI-based systems to improve upon the mistakes of the past. So clearly those are things that we want to A, measure, and B, figure out how to prevent. We shouldn't shut down all experiments, all types of innovations, based upon hypothetical concerns, many of which might not even come to pass. My preference would be to let the courts and the common law govern a lot of these things as problems develop, except for the sort of absolute most dangerous applications of AI or robotics, which may need to be addressed through preemptive controls. I think that the liability for the behavior of an AI system needs to reside in a person, either the person operating it or the person who created it. Simply put, my AI did it is not an excuse. Find out more in this month's featured Point Counterpoint articles on the regulation within AI in the December 2018's Communications of the ACM.